Hello everyone, we will continue the topic parallel processing and in the previous video, we simply called the function module in the do loop 12 times. Yes, first time we are passing the input 1st April to 30th April, then 1st May to 31st May, 1st June to 30th June. And for the last, we are passing 1st March 2025 to 31st March 2025. If we are taking the fiscal year 2024 to 25. So we call this function module 12 times. We checked, yes, we refreshed the respective internal table. We got the expected result. But as of now, we have not even implemented the parallel processing concept. What is parallel processing concept? We should divide the task into subtask. That part we have done, yes. We created the RFC function module. We called that function module. But as of now, what we are doing? This function module is calling first time, next, second time, third time, fourth time. It is not going into parallel processing. The tasks are not assigned to different, different work processes. We should assign 1st April to 30th April to one work process. 1st May to 31st May, one work process. 1st June to 30th June, one work process. 1st July to 31st July, to another work process and they all work processes will work in parallel and give us the result. That's why we are doing parallel processing so that we can get the, we can get the good performance, we'll get the desired result in less interval of time. As of now, there's no parallel processing. This function module is working in a sequential manner. One month, next month, third month, fourth month, so now we will simply, simply implement parallel processing. And this is the best approach which I am always following whenever I want to implement parallel processing. Firstly, I do the normal things. Whenever I am getting the expected result, then I will simply convert it to parallel processing. It will make your task easy because all other things has been done now. Now, how, how we will convert or how we will call this function module in new task. Yes, whenever we will call in new task, it will be assigned to new work process, then again new work process, again new work process, then how we will do that. Now, we have 12 subtasks. If we talk about this, we have 12 subtasks. 1st April to 30th April, 1st May to 31st May, 1st June to 30th June. Same way we have now, we have 12 subtasks. So we need to go for unique name of the subtask. So firstly, we will simply create the task name. It, this task name will play a vital role because at the last, we need to check also this particular task has been completed or not because now we have 12 subtasks. So we'll simply, simply give the name to the subtask. It is totally your wish how you want to identify your task uniquely. Suppose I will simply create a variable. Suppose I will remove this. This one I did for practice purpose. I will write data. Suppose I am creating one variable LV underscore task. Type length is 50 and type C. Now into this do loop, I am creating a unique task name. Suppose whenever first time this control will come into the loop, I will go for first subtask. What is our first subtask? First April to 30th April. So how I will write? I will simply write concatenate. Suppose I am going for suppose psi index. Now people will say why you are going for psi index. It is clearly explained in case of do loop. Yes, psi tabix will not work. Psi index work. Psi index will give the current. Yes, whatever the current index is going on. So concatenate psi index. 
आई एम राइटिंग एल वी अंडर स्कोर स्टार डेट सपोज आई विल राइट वन कॉलम एल वी स्टार डेट देन आई विल राइट कॉलन एल वी अंडर स्कोर एंड डेट इट्स टोटली यूर विश हाउ यू वॉन्ट टू आइडेंटिफाई यूर टास्क यूनिकली आई एम गोइंग बाय दिस नेमिंग कन्वेंशन एंड डेट इन टू सपोज आई एम राइटिंग एल वी अंडर स्कोर टास्क सो हाउ आई एम क्रिएटिंग ए टास्क नेम साई इंडेक्स वन वन कॉलन Start date will be first April. Colon end date will be thirtieth April. So what will be L V underscore task one colon first April two thousand twenty four colon thirtieth April to two thousand twenty four. Suppose I will simply give it as two, so that we can understand. Here I will write separated by space. We'll just see in that debugging mode. It will help us to understand better. So I prepared a task name. We'll check in the debugging mode. I'll check the syntax. Okay. Now, now the major thing is you can only apply the string operation on character data types. What are character data types? Data types: character C, N, date, D, time. We can only apply on to those data types. If I will check the type of Psi index, Psi index is of integer type. So how I will write? I will simply write L V underscore index is equal to Psi index. I will declare L V underscore index. L V underscore index. Suppose length two. Type C. Now I will use L V underscore index here. We'll check in the debugging mode. Is our task name is generating successfully? I'll put a breakpoint. We'll see. I will run. This is our first April to thirty first March. Now, Psi tab. Okay, Psi index. Sorry, we need to write Psi index because it is do loop. Otherwise, it will always remain one only. This is my mistake. I will simply write psi index. I'll run this. Now this is psi index one. We are concatenating. Now what will be this? L V underscore task. If we will see L V underscore task one colon this name this name. Okay, so this is our two date. This is our this is our first April. This is our thirtieth April. You all know how SAP is storing that date. Yes, we have Y Y Y Y. Then we have M M and then we have D D. And same thing is here. If you are not satisfied with this particular thing that we will not understand this, you can simply simply apply the string operation. Suppose how we will convert this state. Suppose we want zero one. Suppose I will keep this session as it is. In another session, we'll write the code. So we can understand fully. Anyone can understand fully. We'll just go to change mode. I will write. Okay, it is already in change mode in that debugging, so I'll simply come out first. It is already in change mode in that debugging. That's why it's it did not allow me to change. I'll put a breakpoint. 
Use debugging specially for the freshers, those who are not comfortable at the initial level in the code. It will your it will increase your logic building skills. Now, this is start date, this is end date. How we want to go? We want to go for 01.04.2024. How I will do? I will simply go to change mode here now. Suppose I will declare one variable. I'll declare two variables. Suppose I'm writing data LV underscore start. Suppose I will write, you know, I will just write LV underscore S date type C length 10. I will write LV underscore E date 10C. Now I will do how I will write. I'll firstly write concatenate. Now just see here how it will work. What we want? We want 0, 1 first. 0, 1. This is whole value. You all know in SAP position starts from 0. If I want 0, 1, how I will write? This is 0 position. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. From the sixth position, I want two characters. If you do not have knowledge of the same, simply go to a BAP programming part one. We have a topic there, substring processing. So from the sixth position, I want two characters. So how I will write concatenate LV underscore star date from sixth position. I will go for plus sign. Sixth position, two characters. You all know whenever we are going for substring processing from this whole string, we want a substring, we want a part. What we want? Zero, one. Zero, one. What is the position of zero, one starts from where? Sixth position. How many characters? Two characters. So from this particular string, we want two characters. Sixth position, two characters. Now I will give colon. Now LV underscore star date. Now from now we want 0, 4. What is the position of 0, 4? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. From fourth position, I want two characters. Now I will go for colon. Now we want 2024. From 0th position, we want how many characters? 4 characters. So I will write LV underscore star date. 0th position, 4 characters. I will write into LV underscore S date. Now you can simply understand why I gave the length 10. This will be 2. 2, 1, 3. 3 will be 3 plus 2, 5, 6, and this will be 4, so 10. So 6 plus 4, 10. That's why I declare the length as 10. Same process we need to do for end date because that is our end date is same as it is. Here I will write end date. Here I will go for end date. So that anyone can understand in better manner. That's why we are doing this conversion. We are do just applying the string operation. Now here, rather than writing LV underscore start date, now I will simply write LV underscore S date. This will be our LV underscore ED. Now we will check. Are we getting the desired result? Now I will simply go to debugging. We'll see. I will run. Especially in these kinds of tasks, you write small, small logic, check in that debugging. I'm running this particular program. Now, we have LV underscore index 1. LV underscore start date, 6 position, 2 character, 0, 1. 
फोर्थ पोजिशन टू कैरेक्टर जीरो फोर दिस इज अवर जीरो पोजिशन फोर कैरेक्टर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर वी आर कॉन कैंडिनेटिंग यू कैन सी एल वी अंडर स्कोर एस डेट यस करेक्ट दिस इज वट वी वॉन्ट नाउ दिस इज फॉर एन डेट एल वी अंडर स्कोर ई डेट थर्टी जीरो फोर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर नाउ वी आर कॉन कैंडिनेटिंग If we will see LV underscore task, this is what we want. Yes, first task, first April two thousand twenty four to thirtieth April two thousand twenty four. It's totally your wish. If you want to change, it is comfortable for you. Now, second time I will show you. Suppose we are going for second time do loop. Now you can see psi index is two. Psi index is two. That's why I took psi index. Now if we will see how LV underscore task, I'll just put a break point so that you can understand fully. You can see this is LV underscore task. Next time, first May to thirty first May. Third time. This is fourth time. Fifth time, sixth time, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, and this is our twelfth. You can see our task name is generated successfully. Now we will simply use the task name with this particular function module. This part will continue in the next video. So, what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started. how we can call this function module in new task because whenever we'll call in new task it will be assigned to new work process because this is our major topic parallel processing parallel processing means what your sub task will be assigned to different different work processes and these work processes will work in parallel so that we can get the result in less interval of time one work process first april to 30th april second work process first may to 31st may this is the way how those work processes will work so we need to call this function module we need to call this function module in new task we need to go for task so how we will do that for that we need to firstly generate the task name because if we will go for task name after that only we can identify this is first task this is second task this is third task is totally your wish how you want to uniquely identify your task i am going for task name as serial number task name then we have start date and end date so we can understand at the last suppose out of those 12 sub task one sub task fail then how you will identify if you do not have a unique name of the sub task then based upon that only we simply generated the task name so firstly i have written the concatenate statement if you are going for do loop please please go for psi index then we check task name is generated but that date is Y Y Y Y. Then we have M M. Then D D. Then we applied the sub string processing. We simply took the characters and we declared two variables for the start date and end date, and we are generating the task name. In the next video, we'll simply pass the task name to this particular function module, and we'll see how we can go for further processing. So that's it in this video. Thank you.